Ah, uh, yeah! You Fox and ladies are ready to get a 70s glam beat down by Jazz Jackson. Jackson. You all need a few things, baby. Let's get started. To save some time, I've completed one eye for you so that you can see the final look. To make our eyeshadows really pop, I'm going to start with NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And just taking my finger, I'm going to blend out the product to have an even thin layer. Be sure to blend it all the way up to your brow bone. Taking a fluffy brush and NYX Cosmetics Love and Florence palette, I'll be using the color on the far right and applying it to my entire crease. For my 70s look, I'm definitely going to take the color all throughout my crease to get an even wash of color. Taking a brush that's a little bit more densely packed than the previous, and the color in the middle from the Love and Florence palette, I am going to place this color right underneath my crease color. As you guys can see, I'm creating a gradient effect to give myself a very disco theme. For this look, do not be afraid of color intensity as it will add to the look of your theme. To add a little bit more intensity to my look, I'm going to apply NYX Cosmetics Ultraviolet Eyeshadow just to the outer crease of my eye and making sure to take small windshield wiper motions to blend completely. Mixing the first and second color together from the palette, I'll be applying this to my mobile eyelid, very softly, just for a wash of color. Attracting light to your brow bone in the 70s was a definite must. So I am taking the fourth color from the palette and applying it to the highest point of my brow bone. Be sure, once you apply your brow bone highlight, to blend out any harsh lines. You want everything to look seamless and not as if you placed it there intentionally. For this look, I am going for a dramatic liner. So I am taking NYX Cosmetics Gel Liner in Jet Black to create the perfect line. As you guys can see, I use three individual lines to create one seamless winged liner. The name of the game for me guys is a lot of practice as the perfect wing liner is one of the hardest techniques to perfect. So take your time. To make my eyes appear larger and brighter, I am taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and placing it into my waterline. Just a thin line is needed, nothing too dramatic. To keep this look's intensity, I'll be applying NYX Cosmetics Retractable Eyeliner in Purple Violet underneath my waterline, right by my lashes. Be sure to apply an even amount. To keep everything in unison, I'll be using Ultraviolet on my bottom lash line as well. This is going to pull everything together and make sure I have a definite 70s intense look. For added drama, I'm going to connect my liner to my bottom lash line. Now you don't need to carry this in all the way, just a little bit for added intensity. And taking ultraviolet once more, we're just going to get rid of any harsh lines on our bottom lash line by taking a fluffy brush and buffing it out. Next, we will apply a few coats of mascara. I am using NYX Cosmetics Curvaceous Mascara and applying this to my top and bottom lashes. Be sure to apply falsies with this look as well. So I'm using NYX Cosmetics False Eyelashes in Fierce Biatch. <laughs> I love saying that. I'm using two for added volume and intensity. Now while this portion is totally optional, I wanted to add bottom lashes to make it really intense. 
So just take about three to five individual lashes and place it underneath your bottom lash line. Be sure to let it completely dry. No look is complete without a little bit of foundation. So I'm using NYX Cosmetics Invincible Foundation in Caramel. I applied my foundation with a beauty blender that was lightly moistened and I'm just blending it out to perfection. To add warmth back to your face, be sure to apply bronzer and your favorite peach tone blush. I am using peach to give me a very glow from within look. Now while I wouldn't recommend this for a dramatic eye, we're also going to do a dramatic lip to keep up with the trend of the 70s. So I'm using an orange liner from NYX Cosmetics and just lining the outer part of my lips. For the lipstick, I'll be using a butter lipstick in hot tamale and then placing a butter gloss on top in peach cobbler. Whew. All right guys, we're almost done. So I was totally inspired by Diana Ross and like Farrah Fawcett for this look. So my hair has to be huge. For extra volume, I am adding Big Sexy Hair's Get Layered Hairspray and just scrunching my hair in the middle until it's as big as I want it. And then once you're done, this is the final look. <laughs> I had so much fun making this look for you guys and I hope that you've enjoyed my 70s inspired look. If you have, make sure you cast your votes. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much for your continued support. I will see you in the next video. Peace out, jab turkeys.